Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Daniel Bushes, and in this tutorial today, I am going to teach you how to create emojis in your Infusionsoft email subject lines. Uh, I promise you this is a really easy, simple tutorial, and it's actually kind of fun. So if, uh, if you're new and you've never watched one of my videos or you haven't come to my blog post, by all means, welcome. If you have, welcome back. Uh, my name is Daniel Bushes. I'm an Infusionsoft certified partner, a digital marketer certified partner, and a professional marketing consultant. Um, I've been in business for, gosh, just about 19 years helping small business owners. And hopefully today I will be able to help you. So that being said, let's dive right into this. This should be just under five minutes, okay? Here we go. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to this website. And the website is unicode.org, U-N-I-C-O-D-E.org. And they list here just about every emoji that I think I've ever seen. And so what you're going to do is you're going to scroll through these hundreds of uh, emojis and you're going to find the one or ones that you want to use. I've zoomed in here for you and I'm going to choose this little pumpkin, this little guy right here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover my mouse over the pumpkin and then I'm going to right click and you're going to see right here that I'm going to have the ability to copy it and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to copy that. Now we're, we're basically done for now for here and what we're going to do is we're going to go over to another web page. The other web page is called uh, Scilog and the URL is cylog.org. Okay, and so what you're going to do is you're going to go right here where it says UTF-8 input and you're going to paste in your little code. Now mine, or your emoji, which mine happens to be this little pumpkin, for example. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click submit. And then what's going to happen is it's going to actually produce code for me right out here. and. ASCII is the actual code that email subject lines read, okay? So that's what this little code is. This code is basically translating the pumpkin that we had chose. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to our Infusionsoft email, and I've got one right here, okay? And so I already have a little sample that I was kind of playing with, and so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paste that guy right here. So there we go. So I've just actually pasted that code. Now, I also went ahead and I'll actually erase this and I'll do this again. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna choose another one. And I'm gonna happen to choose this little snowman right here, okay? So again, I'm gonna hover my mouse over right here in the section that says browser, right click, copy the snowman. You'll see it's copied because it's blue. Go over to scilog.org, paste that uh, emoji in. There's the little, uh, there's a little snowman. Click submit. Got my little code, my fancy code. Copy that. Jump back over to Infusionsoft. Paste in the code, and now I'm going to go ahead and send myself a test. There we go. There I am. Cool. And press send. Should be about 30 seconds or so, and I should see that pop over. And, uh, and I purposely did this test here with two emojis, so that should answer your question. Can you, send, can you have more than one emoji in the subject line? You sure can. All right, so now what that looks like, here's my email inbox right here, and you'll see right here, there's my emoji, there's the test, there's my little pumpkin, there's little my snowman, and of course right here's the pumpkin and here's the snowman again. And so also, just real quick, if I double click on this guy, Okay, and you'll see it's in all the previews that I have, it comes through just like it's supposed to. So hopefully uh, you found some value. It, I explained this in about three minutes. So um, if you find value and you like it, by all means, share it. Um, like my Facebook page, um, provide a comment. If there's any questions or anything else I can help you with, by all means, reach out to me. Thanks so much. Have a great day.